Last Tuesday, the skeptic covered me as he took a look at Ray Comfort destroying the Big Bang. I mentioned last week that he was one of two content creators that defended me from a vicious whacking at the hands of Dr. Kent the Science Gent. Well, the other YouTuber who leaped in to my aid is one Emma Thorne. Her refreshing take on people like Kent, Matt Powell and Dr. Peel is a welcome one. And she even spent a live stream reading Kent's dissertation. Bless her. Today, she's taking a look at a lady who not only thinks that angels can heal people with sulfates, but that COVID is a demonic force from ancient Egypt. Away you go, Emma. Hello, Dan's lovely people. Thank you so much for having me. Today, I would like to talk to you about the healing power of angels. Or at least, I'd like to talk to you about what a pretend doctor thinks about the healing power of angels. It is my great pleasure to introduce you to Dr. Candy Smithyman, not a real doctor. I apologise for dropping a bombshell super early on. Candice actually got her degree from an unaccredited Christian institution, and thus is not a real doctor. I know, who could believe it? Smithyman is probably most famous recently for claiming that COVID-19 is a demonic entity from ancient Egypt. Yes, ancient Egypt. Finally, that explains the tomb juice. Here is what Candace had to say regarding her beliefs on the origin of the coronavirus. I believe this virus is a demonic stronghold from ancient Egypt, still in existence today. I did some research, some research, and I found that rats are connected to ancient Egyptian gods and demonology. In Egypt, there were false gods who wore Egyptian mouse heads. Rats are known. <laughs> So are we talking about mice or rats here? I don't want to blow Candace's mind or anything, but those are two different creatures. I swear I've been scouring the internet for ages looking for examples of mice and or rats in ancient Egyptian mythology. The only appearance of rat I can find <laughs> is within the word decorated, and there's one article about a unique discovery of a mouse burial found inside the sarcophagus of an Egyptian priest. I'd just love to know who these false gods were that wore these mouse heads. What is an Egyptian mouse head, and who was wearing it? Rats are known to multiply quickly, and considered in China to be fertile creatures. Which is why this is the year of the rat in China. Rats are responsible for spreading the bubonic plague that killed so many in the Black Plagues of the 14th and 17th century. Incidentally, there was a plague in the 17th century, but I'm pretty sure that Candice is actually thinking of the 19th century, because that was the third big plague that she's talking about. The 17th century was the Great Plague of London, which I think is probably not what she's thinking about, although we did get the wonderfully creepy nursery rhyme ring a ring a roses in that one, so I don't know, maybe she's a fan. I'm pretty sure she's thinking of the plague that re-emerged around the 1850s and went into the 20th century. I'd like to point out here, just for the sake of my cute rodent friends, that more recent studies suggest that it wasn't actually rats that were the main carriers of the fleas and the lice that spread the plague. It was humans. In a study published in 2017, researchers simulated Black Death outbreaks to try and understand how the plague spread, using three different possible methods. Rats, airborne transmission, and fleas and ticks that humans carry around. And in most of the cities they ran this simulation on, the model that focused on fleas and ticks in humans was the most accurate model for the spread of the disease. Basically, the plague spread too fast for rats to be the culprits. I'm just saying, leave the little buddies alone. Because there is a connection between rats and ancient Egypt, coronavirus, ancient Egyptian demonic force. It makes perfect sense. Does she know that coronavirus didn't come from rats? Then, she survived a demonic attack by COVID-19 in her sleep by holding a communion wafer when she went to bed. So here's the story, which, if nothing else, is a fascinating insight into Candace's life. On Saturday, April 4th at 4am, I was abruptly awoken by God. Where can you get these God alarm clocks? Because I need one. Imagine that. Your mobile phone alarm doesn't go off, but God wakes you up just in time not to miss the train to work. Amazing. After an encounter with a strong demonic force that came into my bedroom and tried to put a sickness upon me on my chest. I cried out in my sleep three times as I rebuked this demon. I knew it had something to do with the coronavirus. The strange thing was that I went to bed with a communion cracker in my hand, which I never do. Of course you never do. Nobody does. Why did she do it this time? 
Was she snacking on communion wafers before bed and just fell asleep? And I had been up praying for about three hours before I fell asleep and had this demonic encounter. I took the cracker before the attack. Candace is a hoot. One of her latest and greatest claims is that God provides healing to us via angels armed with sulfates taken from around the Lord's throne. She was on the Jim Backer show, a reputable source if I've ever seen, explaining how this works. Let's take a look. There are uh, different colored angels that perform different functions. And let me tell you why. That's okay. amazing. Yes, around the Lord's throne, because it's th his throne is the throne of purification, there is also sulfates around his throne. So according to Candice, in heaven, presumably, there is sulfates around the Lord's throne. <laughs> For a quick definition, Sulfate is a group of mineral salts that can have natural or human-made origin. I presume we're talking about the natural kind. Sulfates are most commonly found in shampoo, washing up liquid, anything that lathers typically does so using sulfates. They also bind to oil and dirt and help remove it, which is why they're used in a lot of cleaning products. So they're clearly useful, but possibly not in the way that Candace thinks. I much prefer the idea of angels in uh, little yellow rubber gloves with cleaning products <laughs> ready to come to remove the dirt and grime from your home. Tragically, that is apparently not what's happening. Okay, now sulfates in the earth realm burn at different colors, okay? Mm -hmm. For instance, yeah. if you look at a candle, right? What's the hottest point of the candle? It's the blue point, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. well, when you start out with a candle that is blue flame, which is the hottest, then it will go to yellow, orange, and red, okay? Each one of those are different elements of sulfate. Well sort of, it's the metal in sulfate that generally produces different colours. You're actually generally better off using chlorides for flame colour tests. You have copper chloride or copper sulfate which burns blue, calcium salts burn orange. Salts are basically made up of metal and non-metal, and it's the metal that produces the colour. When our body is weak, it is because there are areas in our body that are not purified, or mm. we've picked up impurities. Weak is very nonspecific. I really wish she'd defined exactly what she means by impurity. Infections, diseases, and impurities, okay? So the Lord will send us angels from his throne with mm -hmm. the very sulfates that we need in order to purify our bodies and bring us healing. Now, we know that when we're sick, we'll right go to there. the doctor, right? I hope so. Yeah. And we will order specific antibiotics. The doctor will put in antibiotic orders for various sulfates that we're to consume. Those sulfates are straight from the earth realms, right? But manufactured, and we put them in our body to bring us the healing that we need. There are sulfates in some drugs, but I do wonder if Candice is actually thinking of sulfur which is common in antibiotics? Well, there's angels that will actually bring those based on various ailments that we have in our wow. body. Now that's amazing. I feel like what Candice might have done is half remember some chemistry lessons from high school involving Bunsen burners and all that fun, and extrapolated that into some kind of angelic power rangers. I call upon the power of the sulfates it might be kind of a cool sci-fi idea, but I'm not convinced we should rely on it for medical care. Even if we conceded that angels are real and are sent from the Lord's throne to deliver different coloured sulfates to us, I'm not convinced that it would actually help. I'll probably just stick with the doctor, to be honest. So there you go. All you need is a direct line to God's throne, and you will find yourself recovered from any ailments by the power of magical god sulfates. Amen. It is also imperative that you go to sleep with a communion wafer in your hand every night because you don't know when demons could strike. I'm feeling a little bit coldy, so I might go and soak in some bath salts just in case. Thank you so much for sharing this wonderful experience with me. And thank you, Dan, for letting me come to your channel and spread the good word. Sulfates, 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 sulfates. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. <laughs>